Welcome to a new video by DJSBRC. We're back with Project Cherokee here. That's brought to you by Great Hobbies, www.greathobbies.com. Now, if you've been watching the series since the beginning, um, I showed the body maybe once or twice. Uh, it was completely white. I don't think I did show how I basically I did the blood spatter on it because uh, it is a zombie vehicle that I, I built right here. Um, and you'll notice here on the hood itself, you physically see a handprint. That I did not show how exactly that was accomplished. Basically what I did, I went to Walmart went in the doll section and basically bought a Barbie doll. And unfortunately, the Barbie doll had to sacrifice her life to accomplish this project here. Uh, she gave away her hands and uh, arms. What I did here, I grabbed my X-Acto knife. and cut the fingers and I was able to separate them to make look like more real fingers because they're all glued together. Once that was accomplished, I grab a piece uh, of uh, plastic, put a little bit of the color of paint I wanted, dab the hand into it and then went on the body itself applied it, put a little bit of pressure, weighed it, and removed it. And actually creates a good handprint on it. Did the same thing for both sides. I have some here. I have some on the side of the body here. And I have some in the back. And I did the kill, the amount of kills that you would have. The other thing I did too, this was printed from uh, one of my good friends. I want to say thank you to Dan. Uh, if you're watching this, Dan, thank you. He 3D printed this for me. Basically, it says Zombie Outbreak Response Team. And his wife painted it, painted the letters and the uh, radioactive skull in the middle red. I know it's a little bit hard to see. There we go. And there's one on both sides. There's a little bit more blood spatter on this side too. And the other thing he printed off for me too, this I'm not sure you'll be able to read if she wants to focus here. Ah, there we go. There's a basically don't, don't feed the zombie in the back. It's a little bit harder to see, but it's awesome. And the other thing I did too, with uh, Vallejo paint, uh, rust pigment. It's a pigment that you grab a kind of an uh, activator with it and you're able to rub it and remove it after to accomplish like the rust look. Like on top of the physical roof rack here on the light bar, on the body, I applied it and I removed it and then I feathered it out. Same thing I did for the top of the mirrors, things like that. And I did the same thing on the jack here. Now this is the RC four wheel drive jack. It is a functional jack. One of my good buddies uh, made me a bracket in the bottom here. It's basically, it's a steel plate and it's bolted to the body with two bolts right here. Um, if you want to go check his channel, uh, I would say go ahead. Awesome channel that he has. He makes vehicles out of styrene to A to Z. Uh, Sadie's Custom RC. I will post a link in the bottom. Go check out his channel. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, let's give him a little bit of love here. He does awesome vehicles. The other thing too that I never spoke about, a little bit harder to see here, but there is some grills in front of the headlights that protect them. And the, one of the last videos I did, 
I showed how I made these meshing on the front windows and all the sides with uh, a garbage can from Dollarama. Even in the back, it's done too. This is what I did with the body itself. Uh, basically, before I did the blood spatter and the rust proofing, I left it white and I put a clear on it. Semi-gloss clear and everything else is done on top of the clear. It is painted inside uh, silver, then white. The outside is painted white. If I do scratch it, you should see the silver, make it look like it was uh, steel that was scratched. And this is the physical body of the Cherokee. Let's grab the frame here. Now I do have the interior 3D printed. Install the only thing I have left to install is the steering wheel that I do have. I didn't, didn't do that again yet, should I say? But again, my good friend Dan printed me some uh, chainsaw, uh, propane tank, uh, fuel uh, tank, fuel jug, should I say? And uh, physical zombie in uh, a can. And it gave me a milk crate too at the same time. These are awesome. And another one of my friends, uh, Dave from uh, Body Works, made me the interior here. But again, even the rust paint from Vallejo, I did on the bumpers, the winch, the rear bumper to make it look like a little bit rusted. And uh, yeah. Looks awesome. And this is pretty much for the moment the end point of this vehicle here. Now is the fun part, is going to play with it and see what this vehicle is able to do. I want to thank Great Hobbies for supplying me with the kit and the accessories to be able to do this build. Really do appreciate that. One of the next videos you should see is a running video. Uh, I don't know exactly when. I'll be able to uh, achieve that, but it is coming. And don't forget, if you want to go check out greathobbies.com, their off site is awesome. And I want to say thank you again. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified next time I upload a video. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate that. And thank you for watching.